Simple, simple clean. We're just going to show you an easy way to mix it. Remember, I can pour out a lot of these bottles and it won't kill the grass. Matter of fact, in a minute, I'll show you how to go ahead and clean oil stains out of concrete. But what happens is the way we mix this is for Windex and 409, you take a bottle, you pour some in, you swish it around, you pour it all the way back out. That's what you fill with water. When this gallon is empty, do not throw it away. Fill it full of water. It makes another gallon of like general cleaners that cost you three and five bucks a pop. All right, for hard stuff, we just put 10 to one. Basically a finger full in a bottle, and then we fill it full of water. Basically what we do is we put a finger full, one part product, and nine parts water. Then you fill it full of water. When you fill it full of water, you're able to use it on anything but pearls. And for example, just one little demo for you. Whenever you get oil stains or liver stains, as dogs show people, or stains in your clothes, um, the closest thing that I can get to is a pen. And as y'all know, this is a paper mate. Pens aren't easy to clean. Well, I can write on myself and then use my product instead of some of those products like spray and wash and the other stuff. What happens is, is my product didn't cost $5 a bottle. Then we just agitate it. We agitate it with the nozzle. If I actually sprayed this in my dirty clothes and let it sit in my dirty clothes, it actually will sit on there. And uh, the longer it sits, the better it works, folks. So if you have something really hard like liver stains and the cleaners can't cleave them out, what you do is you go ahead and use my product. Number two, rust. Now, if you see, I use four different things. A toothbrush, a steel brush, a green pad, y'all know what these are, and then 4-Ot. So, like, on something like on this trailer, you wouldn't want to use 4-Ot. I mean, you wouldn't want to use a green pad because you'll scratch it. So, we use a little 4-Ot steel wool. This is rust. It gets on your X-Pens. Um, it pretty much gets on anything. I can use this steel brush, but I don't want to scratch it. So, I use a little 4-Ot steel wool, and I just go in a circle. Well, what happens is, is when you end up cleaning that circle, it's an emulsifier. This is heavy rust. It goes in and slowly but surely. So if you're even going to repaint something, it's real smart to go over my product. Uh, use my product with it. Because it'll pull all that dirt off there. And just allow your trailer to pull that rust off. Now when you get to easier rust, it becomes a little easier. Same on your tubs, on your, on your X-Pens, pretty much anything you get. You can see, folks, I don't have to scrub real hard. Um, cleaning facial rust is actually good for the rubber. It'll get in these holes in these pits. You can see for that chrome right there, and this is an old trailer, all right? We try to pick the old stuff so you can imagine if it was new. That's without me scrubbing. Can you imagine the second time if I own a hotel, I go over it. The third time, I go over it. The fourth time, I go over it. If you only do cleaning once every year, this is like a major cleaning, but instead of four bucks, it's 11 cents. You can see down here on this, on this thing, this is rubber. All right, so this is just a little thing. Well, I go to this and I say the first time I use it, I can let it sit there for about 20 minutes. But why not use a green pad? Why not go in circles? It's an emulsifier. So slowly but surely, you can see that. It'll start taking these marks off of it. Slowly but surely, it goes in and just breaks and lifts. I can use it on any surface but pearls. So slowly but surely, I'll probably even get that mark out unless it's something that, you know, it's not God, but still, it's pretty good stuff. You can see, just breaking and lifting. All right, breaking and lifting. Then at the same, come up here, cutie pie. For this pen stain, you don't see that in my clothes. If I have to spray it another time, that's fine. But I can save you a lot of laundry soap. Thank you so much. I just want to show you how to use the Simple Clean. Please keep watching demos. I'm going to keep making these demos for you so you know with the X-Pans and stuff. And it costs 11 cents a bottle when you buy it, not $4.50. So I can pour out 44 bottles by the time you use one. Thank you so much, and you have a nice day.